stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Pink frozen pee on a stick. Pink frozen pee on a stick. It's like a dirty snowball, but it's way different. With wings. <laughs> largest member by far of the Sun's family, monarch of the outer planets, a thousand times the size of Earth. Take your thinking cap off, buckle up your seatbelt, and put your pants back on, because it's time for another edition of Thor News' fuzzy photographs of crap in our own inner solar system from billion dollar, million dollar telescope satellite things. All right, let's go. You can tell this one is going to be extra freaking serious. Because if there's one thing that is not a joke, it's astronomy and how they relate it to us. Right? So come on! Let's have some fun. Or let's get butt hurt fast and just punch the down thumbs arrow. Do whatever you want to, man. It's a free world. Asterisk, asterisk, lol, what? I mean, that sounds like a song. Asterisk, asterisk, lol, what? So we're skipping on over to the universe today with Shannon Hall. New image captures one of the brightest volcanoes ever seen in the solar system. Wow. You know, nothing spells out technology as fine and as fancy as, as, as outer space photographs. Images of I.O. or I.O. taken in the near infrared at the Gemini North Telescope on August 29th. Wait, it's August 4th. Holy crap, science has a time machine and they took this photograph in the future. My mind is blown. Hold on, I'm gonna lay on the floor for a couple seconds. All right, I feel better. On August 29th, in addition to the extremely bright eruption on the upper right limb of the satellite, the Lava Lake Loki. The f man? The Lava Lake Loki. Now there's a sentence you guys tricked me into saying. Never planned on saying that in my life. Here I am, Monday night, saying the Lava Lake Loki. Lava Lake Loki, asterisk, 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 LOL what? LOL what? Is visible in the middle of Io's disk, as well as the fading eruption that was detected earlier in the month by de Petier on the southern bottom limb. <laughs> Thanks for putting that in there. For those people who don't know that the south in this photograph is the bottom, it's the bottom. Image credit Catherine de Clear from UC Berkeley. Jupiter's innermost moon, Io, with over 400 active volcanoes, extensive lava flows, and floodplains of liquid rock. Man, I bet if it rained lava on Earth, people would design umbrellas way different. It is by far the most geologically active body in the solar system. But last August, Io truly came alive with volcanism. Oh wait, so what you're saying is that all across the solar system, planets are going through Climate changes? That's fascinating. I'm going to write that down right now. Three massive volcano eruptions led astronomers to speculate that these presumed rare outbursts were much more common than previously thought. Now an image from the Gemini Observatory captures what is one of the brightest volcanoes ever seen in our solar system. Here's another interesting fact. Uh, you know how Ceres is not as far out as Jupiter. I don't know if you know that. I guess if you don't, then you haven't been watching Thor News. It's in between Mars and Jupiter. And you know how Ceres is bigger than Io? How come you got better photographs of Io than you do Ceres? That question is rhetorical because science refuses to answer my questions and won't even talk to me. I'm really like a leper in the science community. It's okay. It's okay, man. I asked like seven scientists today, hey, is science pro-war? And not a single one of them said no, which I'll take it as either a yes or a maybe. Okay, we typically expect 
one huge outburst every one or two years. And they're not usually not this bright. I double negative that. Not he did. <laughs> I just forgot how to speak. And they're usually not this bright, said lead author M.K. de Petter from the University of California, Berkeley, in a press release. In fact, only 13 large eruptions were observed between 1978 and 2006. And here, we had three extremely bright outbursts, which suggest that if we look more frequently, we might see many more of them on Io. Dr. Pater discovered the first two eruptions on August 15, 2013. Okay, scratch all my time machine gibberish. They didn't have a time machine. This is from last year. Or they realized they admitted they, they had a time machine, and then they just said, no, 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 no. It's from last August. The brightest was calculated to have produced a 50 square mile, 30 feet thick lava flow. While the other produced flows covering 120 square miles. Both were nearly gone when imaged days later. The third and even brighter eruption was discovered on August 29th, 2013 at the Gemini Observatory by UC Berkeley graduate student Catherine De Clear. It was the first of a series of observations monitoring I.O. or I.O. Images of I.O. tracking the evolution of the eruption as it decreased in intensity over 12 days. Due to I.O.'s rapid rotation, a different area of the surface is viewed on each night. The outburst is visible with diminishing brightness on August 29th and 30th and September 1st, 3rd, and 10th. This image credit also goes to Catherine De Clear. I would like to marry her, but before I do, I'd change my last name to uh, Crystal. So that way, she would be Catherine De Crystal Clear. <laughs> that was the worst Thor News joke ever. Okay, I don't want to marry her. I gave up on women completely today due to Twitter. Thanks. DeClear and colleagues were able to track the heat of the third outburst for almost two weeks after its discovery. The team timed observations from Gemini and NASA's nearby infrared telescope facility to coincide with the observations by the Japanese Haisaka spacecraft. This allowed the observations to represent the best day-to-day -day coverage of such an eruption, said De Clear. How come everybody in finance or astronomy sounds partially German? Should we be worried that economists and scientists are trying to take over the world? The team was able to conclude that the energy emitted from the late August eruption was about 20 terawatts. And a terawatt is like one quintile of a gigawatt. The only Jay-Z to put out a gigawatt and expelled many cubic kilometers of the lava. At the time we observed the event, an area of newly exposed lava on the order of tens of square kilometers was visible, said DeClear. We believe that it erupted in fountains from long fissures of Io's surface, which were over 10,000 times more powerful than the lava fountains during the 2010 eruptions of Ejaf Jala Jokol. Ejaf Jala Jokol. Iceland, for example. Man, the team is hoping, the team hopes that monitoring Io's surface annually will reveal the style of volcanic eruptions on the moon. The composition of the magma, spatial distribution of the heat flows, the eruptions may also shed light on early Earth. When the heat from the decay of the radioactive elements, as opposed to the tidal forces influencing Io, created exotic high temperature lavas. Am I the only one daydreaming of lava women? Wait, I forgot. I, I gave up on them. I gave up on lava women completely. Did this, I swear. We are using I.O. as a volcanic laboratory where we can look back into the past of terrestrial planets to get a better understanding of how these large eruptions took place. How fast and how long they lasted said co-author Ashley Davies, which is Jonathan Davies' sister, Jonathan Davies of Corn. You know, he, he sang that song, God Hates Me, which wasn't true. 
God doesn't hate you, Jonathan. Okay, so, once again, fuzzy photograph. It changes within our inner solar system. You know, I think it's cool you put a satellite around Saturn that just kind of goes around and around and around it. Why didn't you do that with Jupiter? You know? I mean, whoever's been running the show at NASA since 1999, man, y'all have been weird. You better hope I don't win the presidency in 2016. Because I'm going to increase your budget to $100 billion and put a big old boot in your ass. We need to get back to the American way of being awesome. Okay? Okay. This video may suck. Oh well. I should be allowed to make a sucky video every once in a while. Warning. The moving images you are seeing of volcanoes are not from Jupiter's moon Io. They're from stock footage and other volcanoes from Earth. Okay? I just need to get that out of the way. So I have somebody debunking me going, he was showing pictures of volcanoes from Earth and using them to represent whatever. Man, I think I just died and went to boring land. Oh well. Asterisk, asterisk, lol what? Asterisk, asterisk, lol what? Question mark, question mark, question mark, asterisk? Seriously, bro. I, Thor of Thor News, be presenting this presentation.